welcome to Attic Vision. I'm your host Medusa, this is Boris, and welcome to the first episode of my new series, Unloved and Underrated. This is where I'll talk about all the sad, lost, forgotten, or simply just underappreciated flicks, in my opinion. If you dig this kind of thing and you want to be in the know on my next episode, be sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram, linked in the show notes below, for more pictures of the stuff I collect and occasionally me as well. Today's episode is all about the wonder that is Chud 2, Bud the Chud. Now this movie was directed by David Irving, whose first flick was Goodbye Cruel World in 1983. It was actually written by Ed Naha, who's credited here as M. Kane Jeeves, but he also wrote Troll in 1986, Dolls in 1987, Spellcaster in 1988, and Honey I Shrunk the Kids in 1989. The point is some really awesome stuff. Now this movie was intended to get a theatrical release, however that never happened. It was actually filmed in 1987 and ended up getting a straight to video release in 1989. It actually features a pretty great cast as well. Steve is played by Brian Robbins, who also appeared in Cellar Dweller in 1988. Bud is played by Garrett Graham, who also appeared in Child's Play 3 in 1990, as well as Terror Vision in 1986. And also Robert Vaughn, who plays Colonel Masters. Much like Halloween 3 simply takes place during Halloween, and Extro 2 is just about an alien, but the Chud is about a once human turned monster creature. However, it is not the beloved Chud sequel like this beautiful VHS cover leads one to believe. But the Chud would have been better suited to fall in line with all of the weird Return of the Living Dead sequels. Labeling it as a Chud sequel makes the viewer expect something that they're just not going to get. And I believe this is the main reason why Bud has gotten a bad rap. Chud 2 was released five years after the first, and the connection between the two is the military. Go figure. They have extracted the DNA or whatnot from the cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers and turned it into a Chud serum. And they intend to use these enzymes to make an army of super killer Chuds. Their experiments aren't quite working out. They decide to terminate the project. In turn, the last Chud gets frozen. Bud, and they ship him off to a CDC office in a tiny podunk town. But, oh no, when the cadaver specimen Bud the Chud makes his way there, a couple of good old-fashioned pranksters decide to steal a cadaver. And in pulling off this prank, they steal Bud and thaw him out. <laughs> And then, of course, they proceed to lose him. Now, it's explained that Chudism is contagious and simply cannot be stopped. The Chuds, of course, like brain matter and will turn their victims into Chuds as well. Does this sound familiar? Anyways, Bud starts chomping on some brains and before you know it, half the town has been turned into Chud zombies. <sighs> Now there is very little on camera action, no real blood or gore, but that doesn't mean there's no fun to be had here. There are over the top chomps, burps, hiccups, squelches, cracks, pops. It also features silly characters. Oops. Plenty of overacting, a puppy chud, 
Yep. A puppy chud. Oh, stay out here. Robert England makes a tiny cameo. Hilarious dialogue, some explosions, and a Halloween night out of nowhere. There are basically kids trick-or-treating in their pajamas. But a really rad party. <laughs> I really don't know, but it's awesome. The soundtrack is also pretty amazing, and I really enjoy how this movie ends. Now, if you haven't watched Chud 2, Bud the Chud, I definitely recommend you do so. But keep in mind that you are not getting the cannibalistic, humanoid, underground dweller sequel that you may expect. You're getting a zombie movie, a ridiculous, over-the-top, silly, zombie movie written by the same dude who wrote Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And now if you have seen it, I challenge you to give it another watch. Separate yourself from the chud that you know and put this separately. Stick this in some sort of side category in a parallel universe to the Return of the Living Dead series. Accept it for what it is. Love its silliness. And I promise you, that you won't regret it. Just have fun. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out my other videos. Please let me know what movies you think are unjustly unloved in the comments, and maybe I'll feature your suggestion in a future video. Till next time, I'm Medusa, and you've just watched Attic Vision.